very good day to you ladies and gentlemen welcome to kenya's most comprehensive political and public governance analysis show definitely i'm talking about the candid talk here on aman manyora's youtube channel such a pleasure to always have you on board this fine morning i'm joined once again with uh, professor haman manyora how are you sir hi fine. here we are good the sound from the western part of the country yeah and definitely one of the best voices when it comes to political analysis and of course i hear uh, people talking well of you back there the other time we had this conversation and you were telling me that come 2027 you'll be there in the ballot are you still yeah. having that kind of dream <laughs> we are considering it you're considering it yes uh -huh. we need to change this country. okay something uh very funny and kind of uh, uh, interesting is happening in the lembe nation i've seen this kind of uh, incessant, uh, I don't know whether to call them attacks or what, but then that kind of back and forth between uh, uh, the Transoya governor, uh, George Natimbea, and uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, Senator, uh, not actually Senator, but then uh, Speaker of the National Assembly, uh, Moses Masika Wetangula. What do you make of this kind of scenario and all this kind of situation that we're witnessing? There? What do you really think is happening here? It's normal for, mm. for politicians mm -hmm. to fight each other. Okay to try and occupy higher positions, higher mm -hmm. space, better mm -hmm. space. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a normal thing, healthy. Uh -huh. It's very healthy. Mm -hmm. But basically, I think it is because the Mlembe nation mm -hmm. seems to have a vacancy mm -hmm. for a leader, okay. for a community leader. Mm -hmm. uh, I think there isn't a leader uh, in the sense in which you find Raila with the Luo, uh, Ruto with the Kalenji, mm -hmm. Kalonzo with the Kamba, etc. Et mm -hmm. So that, that, that sort of vacuum mm -hmm. attracts fellows who want to fail. Why would, you say, why would you say there's a vacuum there? Yet we've got the Prime CS Mudavadi coming all the way from that particular place. Uh, Moses um, Wetangula, still the, national, the Speaker of the National Assembly, who have actually, uh, were actually seen to be formidable leaders from that particular region. No, it's not a question <laughs> of just being prime CS or <laughs> speaker. No, it's a question of effective occupation. It's only effective op occupation. <laughs> yeah, occupation of the subject matter, <laughs> lawyers will tell you. <laughs> and the subject matter here is <laughs> the Mlembe Nation. <laughs> so the I, leader, uh -huh. you don't need to have a letter of appointment. <laughs> you are just there and everybody knows. <laughs> Who doubts that Kalonzo is the king of Ukambani? <laughs> Whoever doubts Raila controls Nyanza. Whoever mm. doubts, mm. Uh, Ruto controls Rift Valley. Whoever mm. doubts, Gashago mm -hmm. is about to control Mount Kenya. You mm. know, those kind of things. Mm. Yeah. So it, it all goes back, uh, it all rolls down to the uh, region kingpin fight, yes, and yes. that is actually what is happening here. So the space, whenever mm. there is some kind of space, you see, mm. when Uhuru left, mm. that perceived is actually not perceived, it, it was there. Mm -hmm. That now, in the absence of Huru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. there must be someone to become the leader. Mm -hmm. Then there's a deputy president regarding Ashagwa. Mm -hmm. You get it? Naturally, he should be the leader. Mm -hmm. But other people still have ambitions. Well, he may be deputy president, but there is space because he hasn't quite occupied it. Mm -hmm. So you can see Ndindi Nyoro and, and the others trying to fight. Mm -hmm. It's always before somebody effectively occupies the space, mm -hmm. there will be some sort of commotion around. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Certain quarters believe that uh, the governor, George Natembe, is actually uh, working under the umbrella of the DAPK party leader, Eugene Wamalo. Do you think that uh, perhaps that could be somehow true, that it's, it's Eugene actually who is here and working behind uh, the governor? All oh, these people are my friends and uh -huh. they are known to me. They may not be very close friends, but they are known to me. Uh -huh. I think it's an insult to Natembea to tell him he's working under the ampit of Eugene Wamalo. I think, uh -huh. as we speak now, Natembea is getting way ahead of Eugene. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. The two are not equal politically. Natembea is much more ahead. Uh -huh. Yeah, so how can it be but, 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 but in, 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 terms, in terms of, of course, Natembea is the first time governor this time. But he's already uh -huh. effectively occupying the space. Mm -hmm. He's moving. I think. He, all things remaining equal, in a couple of months, mm -hmm. he will have confirmed himself as the king of Transoya and Bungoma. He will be moving further down. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Going, going by in, uh, the governor's assertions, definitely he's well determined to make sure that he roots out uh, Ford Kenya party from that particular region. He's almost done his influence. By now. And, yeah, and that is what, actually what he's working on. Yeah. Uh, how easy do you think it will be for him to succeed in the long run? Because even those people who tried ousting the uh, Ford Kenya party leader, that, that is uh, uh, the um, Speaker of the National Assembly back then, did not actually succeed. How easy would it be for the governor right now to uh, succeed? It's as that? easy as you can see it happening. Mm -hmm. It's already happening. Okay. You, what are you waiting for? Mm -hmm. well, uh, Natembe is running with Angle out of town. Are you not seeing a Angle running? Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's running out of town. Yeah, okay. it's already happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's just to seal the deal. Seal the deal. Natembe and... almost is now the undisputed king of the Pukusu. <laughs> that one <laughs> okay. is almost there. Uh -huh. I, I think uh, there is no doubt about it. Mm -hmm. So Wetangula is running out of town. Okay. Now, make us understand because, in as much as you're trying to say it would not be actually uh, kind of uh, proper for us to say here that he is working under the ambit of uh, uh, Eugene Omalwa, but that is actually what is uh, seemingly appearing outside here because this is party leader and uh, this is ki the kind of uh, argument that we let are me put here. it clearly to you. Uh -huh. Before Natembea started uh -huh. this journey, he's walking. Mm -hmm. The Luya Nation had two leaders. Okay. It was Mudabadi mm -hmm. and Watangula. Mm -hmm. Prime Cabinet Secretary, whatever that means, and Speaker of the National Assembly, the so-called number three. Mm -hmm. Then, in the recent past, two other voices have been heard. Then there was Oparanya. Don't do not rule and out Oparanya. You also have uh, the Oparanya. governor of Kakamigo Oparanya. Huh? Yeah, and then there was Eugene. So there were four, Oparanya, mm -hmm. Eugene, Mm -hmm. Mudawadi and Wetango. Yeah. These are the, these were the, the, this was the status now mm -hmm. of Western Kenya, mm -hmm. of the Mlembe Nation. Oparanya, Eugene, Wamal, uh, what is, Wetangula and, mm -hmm. well, this other guy I'm forgetting. Oparanya, Eugene, Wetangula, Wetangula and of course. Wetangula and Mudavadi. Eugene. Mm -hmm. uh, Oparanya and Mudavadi. O Oparanya and Mudavadi. Four. Mm -hmm. In the recent past, two other voices have emerged, mm -hmm. youthful voices, Sifuna mm -hmm. and Natembe. Sifuna is occupying a national space. Mm -hmm. His name is, is on the national radar. Mm -hmm. The national radar is where he's operating, mm -hmm. fearless, eloquent, and he's, he's finding a place in the Luya heart, mm -hmm. just as he's finding a place in the nation's heart mm -hmm. as a young eloquent, fearless leader, mm -hmm. but being a lawyer. Then on the ground, Natembea has started an onslaught mm -hmm. to clear those leaders. Let's not hide. Mm -hmm. His focus for now is on Wetangula. Mm -hmm. But as soon as he's done with Wetangula, mm -hmm. the rest will fall in. Okay. This is a caterpillar. The bulldozer is going mm -hmm. to clear. Mm -hmm. He's already clearing Wetangula. Mm -hmm. The Tembe, after clearing Wetangula, and this is going to be very soon, is going to. Of course, Eugene Omola will fall by the wayside. It's just <laughs> a natural, <laughs> almost collateral. <laughs> Wetangula, <laughs> Eugene will be collateral. And I don't blame Wetangula because mm -hmm. these guys have had the opportunity. They have not used it. Mm -hmm. They have never used They have never tried to show their leaders. Mm -hmm. They have had opportunities. Eugene has had opportunities. Mm -hmm. Mudawadi has had for the longest time. Mm -hmm. Wetangula has had and he still has. Yeah, but yeah. they have never used it. And so, mm -hmm. they are being... I just want to make it clear. Mm -hmm. Netembea is now clearing with Wetangula. Mm -hmm. In the process, almost simultaneous, Eugene will be forgotten. Mm -hmm. Then his focus will be on Mudawadi and Oparanya. Mm -hmm. Okay. The question will be, mm -hmm. who between Sifuna and Netembea mm -hmm. will be the lawyer kingpin mm -hmm. and in what manner mm -hmm. and each of them requires different strategies to mm -hmm. occupy that mm -hmm. either the luya kingship or the the luya space mm -hmm. on the national table okay yeah why did you deliberately omit uh, eugene omado's name when you were talking about the the the, the, the leaders of this particular region of because i've had we've mentioned, mentioned here, four of them you've mentioned four of them but then eugene eugene Omalua, uh -huh. moses masika wetangula papa mm -hmm. roma mm -hmm. Uh, weekly from Salem Dawadi mm -hmm. and Weekly from Beza Oparanya. Four. Okay. okay so and these are the people mm -hmm. that Tembea is targeting deliberately. Mm -hmm. 
But whose space mm -hmm. can also be occupied by Sifuna? Mm -hmm. And Sifuna need not fight. Mm -hmm. So, so, so this space will be their space will be occupied mm -hmm. by either Natembe or Sifuna. Mm -hmm. Sifuna will, from the national level, without fighting, okay, mm -hmm. carving a name for himself and automatically becoming the next person. You, if somebody was looking for a lawyer to be a running mate, mm -hmm. he will now just focus on these two, Natembe and. It's either Natembea or Sifuna. Not, not ten of these other gay guys. These ones are they are already being thrown out of the house. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about uh, the uh, Bungoma County Governor. Yeah. There in, is his influence. Uh, basically, Saka is a good man. Uh, Ken Lusaka there is. Saka is a good man. Mm -hmm. Apart from the casogenic wheelbarrows, he's just a good guy, and mm -hmm. he can be a good governor. Mm -hmm. But he's not one of those people. So when we, Sl uh -huh. he's not one of those people. Mm -hmm. To be considered for Luya or national leadership. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. I'm telling you, as far as the Luyas are concerned, mm -hmm. either in terms of in terms of the Luya king pinship mm -hmm. or in terms of a Luya gunning for the presidency or running mate, mm -hmm. it can only be Sifuna or Natembe. These others are now out completely. Mm -hmm. Out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then the prime cabinet secretary? Yeah, he's out. Uh -huh. He will not be they will not fight these young people. Mm -hmm. It's time for the you see why? And I've said this repeated. I say if Mdavadi really wanted to occupy state house, he mm -hmm. has to do it 2027. Okay. He has to face Ruto. Mm -hmm. Because these guys are in their 60s, mm -hmm. just like us. Now, how do people like us try to become president 10 years after now? Mm -hmm. It'd be very difficult. If you want it, it has to be 2027. By 2032, you may find yourself too old mm -hmm. to compete in the modern world. So if Mdabadi wants to be president 2027, I don't yeah. I doubt he has already stated that Ruto is unassailable, mm -hmm. that he is supporting Ruto. Mm -hmm. He has already stated, it's not my words, it's his own words, mm -hmm. in public, not in private. Yeah, yeah. That and therefore, you, you know that, yeah, he's I not going for the well. president. Yes. How old will he be in 2032? It'll be, mm -hmm. it'll be diff so, so difficult for him. Mm -hmm. The game then will have changed. And that's why I'm saying the game onwards belongs in terms of the Luya nation, mm -hmm. the game belongs to Natembea mm -hmm. and unless uh -huh. unless they were very close to power, mm -hmm. if you are deputy president, mm -hmm. that's a different game. What, what do you mean? How, how close, if, if how close to power should somebody be? Because here we are talking about the Speaker of the National Assembly, of course, the third in command, as he always says. Let me ask you. We have the Prime Cabinet Secretary. Let me ask how you. close to power should you, you, you want these people to be? Do you uh -huh. think, do you think <laughs> if Ugashagwa is retained, uh -huh. and I think he will be retained, uh -huh. because it will be suicidal for, for Ruto not to retain Gashagwa. Uh -huh. If he retains Gashagwa, uh -huh. do you think Mudabadi can be a match for Gashagwa? In 2032. 2032, that is. Can it be a match for him? Mm -hmm. With 10 years of Gashagwa's deputy presidency, mm -hmm. the man Gashagwa you know, mm -hmm. 10 years deputy president, can Mudabadi compete him? It has to be somebody else, not Mudabadi, mm -hmm. not to tangle. It has to be somebody else. That is unless... That's why I'm saying uh -huh. they could have a chance mm -hmm. in 2027. Mm -hmm. After that, forget about it. But how formidable Gashagwa can be also depends on the kind of influence that Lamas from his uh, central Kenya backyard. Do, do, do you see what's happening in Mount Kenya? You saw when Dindi Nyoro tried to bring his head up. Uh -huh. You play with Gashago, my friend. Yeah. The guy looks humble, uh -huh. but he's little. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I expect in the next, by 2027, mm -hmm. he will have taken complete control of Mount Kenya region. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mm -hmm. in any case, will be, you know, you see the, the Kikuyus are, have a very big problem, the Mount Kenya people. Mm -hmm. They may wish to fight Gashagwa, mm -hmm. but that will be celebrated by outsiders. Ruth mm -hmm. will be very happy. Mm -hmm. If they were to f go for each other mm -hmm. and get so disunited, mm -hmm. it would be very good for Ruto. Mm -hmm. Because then he can ignore them. Okay. So they are in a, in, in a very difficult place. If, even if they didn't like him so much, mm -hmm. they would be forced because he's the best bet they have for now. Mm -hmm. If they introduce infighting, mm -hmm. they get disunited, mm -hmm. there will be a problem for Talk them. Talk to me about the influence of uh, uh, the court of Secretary General Francis. Of course, he's been silent, but then yes. in his silence, he's always been perceived as one of the kingmakers around here. Do you then think that if he perhaps wades into this debate of determining who becomes the uh, Luya uh, region definitely spokesperson in terms of political representation nationally, then uh, that person will perhaps 
have uh, anybody whom you support would have an upper hand? Certainly, Atul is very influential. Mm -hmm. And he has tried to make Mudawa the king. He did it in 2016. Mm -hmm. Made him the Luya kingpin, okay. officially. Mm -hmm. After thorough research mm -hmm. and the survey. And finally, mm -hmm. I don't think Mudawa lived up to expectation. Okay. But as far as influence is concerned, yes, mm -hmm. Atul has sufficient in influence. Mm -hmm. So that if he threw his weight around you, mm -hmm. You, you you stand a good chance. Okay. But he's also a very calculating politician mm -hmm. and leader. Mm -hmm. He may not just support you for the sake of supporting. If he sees, mm -hmm. for example, if he sees it will be futile mm -hmm. to stand in the way of Natembea, he may mm -hmm. not support these other guys. Okay. So if they would be banking on his support, mm -hmm. and now at all he's also working with the president, mm -hmm. he might do, perhaps look at what may not antagonize mm -hmm. President Ruto. Mm -hmm. But his support certainly mm -hmm. will count for a lot. With the kind of votes, the Bukusu votes that uh, the Speaker of the National Assembly a leader actually delivered to the President Ruto, mm -hmm. how easy, I'm still wondering, how easy, as we, as we conclude this conversation, how easy do you think it will be for Natembea to topple him? I'm that? telling you, as far as the Bukusu of Tuanzoya and Bungoma are concerned, uh -huh. that one is, done, is a done deal. Okay. Natembe already have, has them. So you're saying... I've Natembe been on the ground, I know. Uh -huh. This is the man, when he speaks, everybody's okay. Is it true that Ford Kenya is dying a slow death is in that particular Ford, region? Ford Kenya is not dying. Ford uh -huh. Kenya is already dead. Uh -huh. They are setting the burial date. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there we have it, ladies and gentlemen, from uh, the Firebrand here himself, Professor Haman Manyora here, telling us that the kind of uh, uh, war that we're witnessing between uh, the former, uh, of course, Senator of uh, uh, the... Uh, Bungoma County and of course the Speaker of the National Assembly Moses Wetangula and the current Governor of Transdoia uh, County uh, Joyna Tembea in terms of who actually represents and speaks for the voice of the Muleme Nation as actually begins and he says that uh, uh, the uh, Governor is actually ahead of time. Well let's wait and see how this will work out in the long run. Let's wait and see whether uh, perhaps the Governor will actually succeed in whatever mission he has down there. Allow me to stop this conversation at this particular moment till we have it again. Have yourself a lovely day. My name is Evans Okinyi. Okay.